Wag yung kayo magkadisgrasyahan tayo niya. Sinasabi ko yung magdidisgrasya kayo. At madidisgrasya kayo. Hindi ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Um, intercepted the uh, shipment of, uh, of illegal drugs uh, of this, uh, from Chabu. And uh, um, I, I will uh, request uh, the PD uh, uh, Director General to uh, say first uh, yung, uh, their piece before uh, the Bureau of Customs will, uh, will say our piece also. I, I have said my piece. Uh, all I want is questions. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now, uh, since uh, the PD uh, had uh, said uh, he have uh, said his piece, for the purpose of the others who came uh, in late, I would like to uh, inform uh, everyone that uh, we have here uh, a, uh, a, a shipment of uh, drugs uh, with a uh, quantity of 500 kilos. And uh, as, as to the part of PDEA, we received a uh, shipment uh, consigned to Bicava, uh, in, a, in a way, so uh, more or less uh, 500 kilos of methamphetamine hydrochloride uh, was found inside the 20 footer container which was intercepted uh, by uh, the Bureau of Customs. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, this container is consigned to uh, Bicaba Trading International. And uh, this arrived uh, on uh, June 28 at the Manila International Container Port. And uh, after 30 days, the uh, port operator, ICTSI, sent a notice to the corrector of the Bureau of Customs of MICP uh, on July 30. That is uh, after 30 days that um, it has been uh, abandoned in uh, the uh, MICP. And as such, um, after that notice, then uh, and, uh, de declared to be abandoned, the Bureau of Customs, uh, as a matter of procedure, is authorized to open the, uh, the, uh, the container van. But uh, in the process, while waiting uh, that uh, this uh, shipment will be opened, we were informed by PDEA that uh, they have the, an information that certain uh, container van was shipped to... Uh, to the, the uh, to the Philippines through the uh, MICP, and that uh, expedited that uh, fast track the opening of uh, the uh, of this container van that is consigned to the uh, Vicava uh, Trading International. The details of uh, the um, of the personalities involved here, as well as uh, yung, uh, we have the address of uh, the of the consignee, uh, it will be the subject of investigation by PDEA. And as you, as you have witnessed, I, we have turned over the uh, symb symbolically the uh, the uh, illegal drug, the shabu, to uh, the Director General of uh, PDEA as a matter of procedure also. The PDEA being the lead agency when it comes to drugs. So we are now open for question. Sir, what do you call, uh, yung miss declaration niya, sir, anong, anong well, uh, actually, those sa, sa document that uh, we have, it is ang declared is a door frame. Uh, sir, pero kung door frame declaration niya, bakit sir, ganun yung pagkakakontain? Yes, uh, kaya nga, it's a missed declaration. Uh, that is just the, uh, yung, yung uh, para, uh, yung sa papel, ang nakalagay is a uh, door frame. Hindi siya, sir, nag-undergo ng sa X-ray na makikita. No, um, in fact, it, it was it did not go uh, any uh, part of a clearing process ng uh, customs because 
um, it was not meant to go through that clearing process because the um, consignee is not even accredited by the Bureau of Customs. Ang uh, tingin ko, i, uh, ito ipapalusot na lang. But it, uh, hindi sila nakakita ng chance na maipalusot ito. It's because of the uh, intensified alerting of the Bureau of Customs. We have been more uh, strict in uh, these processes. And it will be very difficult, it will be very uh, risky on their part if they will post through with something like this. Sir, can you just discuss that to Galing Ulit yung shipment? It's Malaysia uh, as a transshipment point. Yeah, uh, came from Malaysia but we suspect that uh, it came from another country. So, naging transshipment point lang Malaysia. Although Malaysia has been also, a, they smuggle also drugs dito sa ating bansa. Pero we suspect that it came from another country. Sir, sir, have you made any coordination with Malaysian authorities para malaman kung saan possible ng galing pa ito? We'll start it tomorrow. Uh, since ngayon lang namin na-identify kung anong laman ito. And then uh, knowing everything, so we will uh, collaborate uh, with the Malaysia authorities. Meron mer mer na kayong ano doon sa yung Bikaba? Meron na kayong mga follow-up uh, investigation? Ano na so far ang mga nakuha nito about this? Yes, the PNP and PDA is uh, now conducting follow-up investigation. Yes. Pero sir, is this the first shipment na pinadala kay Gikapa? Or do we have... Well, um, um, on our record, this is the, the uh, first uh, shipment that was sent. In fact, uh, yung pangalan na yan ng uh, Bikaba Trading International is not accredited with the uh, with the customs, with Bureau of Customs dito. Yung Bikaba, sir, sino po ang may-ari niya? Pilipino po o foreigner? Uh, Filipino rin. Ang pangalan ay uh, Bidasio Cabral Araquel. Bidasio Cabral Ara B. Araquel. Kaya Bikaba. Paano sir spelling? Victor Echo? Yeah, ba, ang Bidasio is uh, Victor Echo Delta Alpha Sierra India Oscar. Cabral is uh, Charlie Alpha Bravo Romeo Alpha Lima. And then initial Bravo, and then uh, Arakel, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha, Queen, Uniform, Echo, Lima. Ang address? The, the last name is Barakel. Hindi, B. So the address is uh, number 712 Galicia Street, 1st District, San Paolo, Manila. backtracking or uh, investigation kami and uh, we will dig deeper uh, especially kay Mr. Baraket. Sir, you said you had you also had an intelligence diba, about the shipment. Yeah. Kaya po, that's why you intervened, di ba? Ano pong intelligence sir? Pwede ko pang kwento sa amin yung department? We've been tracking the group uh, seven years ago. Which one, sir? Ito ba ka ba? Uh, hindi. Itong uh, nagpapadala. Anong grupo po ba ito? Meron na ba uh, siya? I cannot reveal at, at this time. Uh, kasi may, ka may kakanda kami ng follow-up. But, but ano po ito? Mga um, prominente sa mga ganitong detail, yes. ano? They are into illegal drugs. Sir, Filipino po ba yung uh, tinatrack na ulit for I can't comment on that. Sorry. Sir, sorry. Paano so, po natin po yung street value na ito ulit? Ano yan? Street value po. 3.4 billion. Billion. Peso. Sir, paano po natin yung genus na yung pinaglagyan ng illegal drugs? Ito na siya yung magnetic. It's a magnetic lifter. It's contained in two Magnetic lifter. Ang, ang weight ng bawat isa ay? Four tons. Four tons. Four tons. Four tons. <coughs> yes. So, so far, ito isa sa mga biggest ano ninyo? Uh, well, one of the biggest, but not the biggest actually. Yeah. In uh, in uh, my time, it is the biggest. In the time? Yeah. So, As a commissioner of the Bureau of Customs. So, nang sabi niyo ba na isa sa mga ano niyo ito, biggest accomplishment niyo sa pagiging commissioner niyo? Well, I would say the accomplishment uh, is the uh, prevention of this shipment to get through. And uh, I would cite the uh, measures that uh, we have been uh, uh, instituting in the different ports of the country.
Alam ko sinyo bumibigay na mensahe doon sa mga taga-customs na malamang ho ay kasabwat pa rin itong mga nagbabalak makapagpasok ng ganito. Well, um, um, I, I would like to uh, warn them that uh, to stop this, uh, if, if they uh, have uh, this dealing with the drug syndicate, to stop it because we will eventually catch up with them. And uh, the fact that this, that this did, did not get through this time is an indication na marami na yung ayaw na mag-cooperate sa uh, drug syndicate. Sir, tanong lang po. Everybody knows that the peasant is very, very uh, strict when it comes to his campaign against illegal drugs. Bakit kaya, sir, up to now, ganun pa rin kadayang sila magpasok ng ganyang kalaking volume, sir, na shipment. Uh, parang ano kaya, sir, yung pinangahawakan na for them thinking that they'll be able to pull it off po? Well, uh, maybe uh, meron pa rin sila mga nakakausap na mga uh, people who can help them uh, na ipasok itong uh, shipment na ito. But it, it did not happen. Taga BOC kaya sa yung tinutukoy? Well, uh, that's possible. And, uh, it could be anybody that, that has connection with the, B the Bureau of Custom. Next question. Sir, can we say po ba? Can we say po ba na wala na rin po supply ng mga siyang bubito sa Philippines kaya po nag-i-import na po sila from different countries? Again, uh, yung supply could be internal or external. Yung internal, recently, yung uh, operations ng PDEA, sa Malabon and Bata Bat Batangas will, will show na malakas pa rin ang uh, pag, uh, uh, pag, uh, paggawa ng shabu dito sa loob ng Pilipinas. So, uh, both. Ginagawa ang shabu dito sa loob, ini-smuggle din ang shabu para sa galing sa labas. Next question, sir. sir um, ano na po yung next move na PDA after mother and over sa inyo? Ano po dadaan ito? Paano po sa city? We are now, again, we are now conducting a follow-up investigation on, 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 the, on the group and hopefully uh, we can get them. And again, we, we will conduct more investigation on the shipment. Uh, kung bakit nagiging transshipment ay yung, yung, ano, yung Malaysia papasok sa atin. Sir, for planning nila po, kailan po binuksan yung container? Today or yeah, yesterday? Yeah, today, this afternoon. Today, today lang. Today lang. Uh -huh. Any other questions or clarifications? Door frame, door, door lock, and door, door frame. Door frame. Uh, that, that is the declaration, but we, not, we did not see any door frame when we opened the uh, container van. What we saw are the two magnetic lift. Sir, what's a magnetic lift? Para sa ano ba siya dinagamit? Bakit kung kaya sir kinunsin? Well, um, the purpose, kasi ano eh, yung uh, makita naman ninyo yung, mag, uh, yung magnetic lift na yon, masyado makapal yung bakal. In fact, uh, noong una na pinasinabject ng PIDEA to uh, a uh, drug sniffing dog, walang uh, na-detect. We have to open, yun, yung nakikita ninyo na yun, we open it. And then that's the time na nag-react yung uh, PIDEA K9 and uh, confirmed that uh, what is inside there is a uh, shabu. Confirmed. Yes. Confirm na siya po. Sir, can you run us through the process? Kung hindi ba accredited yung consignee, kinatanggap mo pa rin? No. They cannot lodge in. Pero bakit po nabunta dito yung uh, itong shipment nila? <coughs> that's, why, what, that's what I said earlier. Na, <coughs> na this shipment is not meant to go through customs uh, clearance procedure. Yung processes. But... Um, it was meant na ilusot na lang with the with the assistance of certain people it could be from uh, from uh, outside or inside of the bureau of customs but it did not happen it means that mas mahirap na ngayon or hindi na nila kaya na basta-basta magpalusot ng ng uh, uh, illegal drugs to the uh, through the customs uh, ports Yeah, it's done. Yeah, done. Oh, okay. exactly. It's done. Yung, uh, symbolic turnover. All right. Turnover? Turnover? Okay, here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Symbolic turnover daw ulit. Uh, for the purpose ng mga those who came in late. Oh, Jan lang kaya, Jan lang. Jan lang. Jan lang. Oh, wala kagala. Oh, 